Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, where we're getting some more information about the rise of Skywalker today from C-3PO himself, Mr. Anthony Daniels. Anthony Daniels was on a press conference to promote his new book, and he was also talking about the rise of Skywalker. He did this interview in French, so unless you guys can understand fluent French, uh, you're probably not going to want to go watch the full 23 minutes of that unless you just really love watching Anthony Daniels speak French. But uh, luckily for us, someone on the Star Wars Leaks community on Reddit named Future Alliance was able to translate some of what Anthony was talking about in regards to the rise of Skywalker. So I thought I'd let you know what he has said so what we can expect to get a little more insight into the film. So let's get into it. Anthony Daniels just gave a press conference to promote his book and talk about the rise of Skywalker. Now, unfortunately, most of his interview he gave was in French. Lucky for us, I speak and understand French, so here are a couple snippets of what he gave regarding the rise of Skywalker. Was there during the filming for the official poster scene, which this isn't quoting now, but this is what the poster scene is, is the battle on uh, the wreckage of the Death Star where all of the waves are coming in and that's what we see so that's what he's referring to when he says the poster scene he says it took them six days to film that scene it was brutal because it was in November and it was non-stop wave after wave gave huge props to Daisy and Adam for going through that called Daisy a true character hero in the trilogy and in no way because she's a feminine character was it politically driven Another thing Anthony talked about is says he is aware of the fan division, reads in hears that some fans are saying they will never watch The Rise of Skywalker. He says he doesn't believe it because this is the final film and he believes they'll be first in line. Which might be true, might be not. Some of them might stick to their guns, some of them might not. Let me know if you're on that never watching The Rise of Skywalker train and whether you will end up being first in line like Anthony says or whether you're actually not. And if you are going to watch it at some point, let me know if you're going to get a digital release or if you're going to buy the movie or just boot like it. But let me know with the comment down below. So another thing Anthony says is he says he was there, but decor for the last two films of Star Wars, but that he definitely for once is involved a lot as he's part of the hero's adventure. That's good to hear. Go Anthony Daniels. More C-3PO is good. That's some good comic relief. And it's nice to know that he's you know, found his peace with the fact that he's the core. Um, as 3PO didn't have a main storyline, but he's always fan service in the sense that every, he's a beloved character. Another thing he says is, says everyone will be satisfied with the ending. Call JJ a brilliant mind as well as Chris Terrio, as they really gathered all the scattered storyline pieces and concluded them. Says there is something for everyone in this movie, from dark side lovers to light side. Confirms that R2 will be in a desert scene, where he explained that because he can't really see, he has to pretend to see R2, and at one point in The Rise of Skywalker, he has to put his hand on R2 as he usually does, but that they took R2's helmet off this time, so he almost fell over. Had a laugh, says R2 is played by an actor called Hassan, at least for that scene. Says the film has a lot of secrets, which he means by that is anyone's guess. So let's give a big shout out to Future Alliance over on the Star Wars Leagues community for being able to translate this for us. Again, if you can speak fluent French, you can go check out the full interview that Anthony Daniels gave. Um, but other than that, let me know what you guys think about Anthony Daniels' comments. I'm looking forward to it. I was always looking forward to The Rise of Skywalker, but I'm really interested to see how this wave scene goes now, considering they took six days to film it. So I'm wondering how long the scene is and how choreographed it is Will it rival the Kenobi-Anakin fight in Revenge of the Sith? Doubt it, but we'll have to wait till December to see. Thank you guys for watching. God bless, and may the Force be with you.